everybody, it's Rochelle again with another story from the memoirs of the red-headed hairdresser. And this story actually is, I want to say it's going to be part of my bloopers, but I'm going to share this with you anyway right now, because um, this is how the story starts. I was going to do just a bloopers reel for you, but I changed my mind. I figured I'm going to tell you the whole story. And then I could maybe, depending on how long this takes, um, throw in a different story for you. But anyways, here we go. So me and my girlfriend, we went out to a club together and um, we're just chit-chatting. We ordered a drink and we're just hanging out, sitting at a table and talking. And this young kid comes over and he starts kind of hitting on us and, hey, can I buy you girls a drink? And, you know, we're trying to be nice, but not showing a whole lot of interest and he brings over his little friend who's even younger than him. And I'm like, hey, girl, like, these guys are young enough to be my son. Like, Ugh, no. And she's like, yeah, I keep trying to get them to leave. They're not getting the hint. So I look around, and there's this really hot guy sitting at the bar. So I go up to him, and I put my arm around him, and I said, hey, so when are you planning on coming over here and rescuing us from these 25-year-olds? And he laughs and he goes, well, I don't know what you want me to do about it. I'm only 28. And I look at the silver in the side of his hair and I'm like, uh-huh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he goes, well, thinking about it. And I says, well, think a little harder because I'm just saying you're the only one in here that I'm even remotely attracted to. I said, because you look like you're the only one in here that even works out. And he goes, well, that's funny. I've only worked out twice this whole year. And I'm like, yeah, right. You don't get back muscles that look like that without working out. And he laughs. And I said, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll kick your ass at leg day. And he says, oh, really? You're going to challenge a one-legged man to leg day? <laughs> and I'm like, whatever. And he lifts up his pant leg. And sure enough, he had a prosthetic. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> hang on a sec, I'm choking on my kneecap, <laughs> like, what, yeah, pick me, only me would do something like that, so then he laughs it off, and he says, yeah, it got bit off by a shark, my dad lives in Hawaii, it's the only fight I've ever lost, and I'm like, are you serious? So next thing you know, he and his friend are over talking to us and I kind of pushed his friend off on my friend a little bit and then come to find out like by the end of the night, she's telling me that this guy is like filthy stinking rich and she goes, I almost want to see if his money where his mouth is and I'm like, hmm, I don't really go home with guys besides I think the guy I was talking to is an alcoholic. And she goes, oh, yeah? And I'm like, yeah, did you not see? Like, his bar tab came to $54. And I was like, that's kind of a lot. And, you know, because mine was like 20-something. And he was like, oh, this can't be right. I drank twice, maybe even three times more than that. She didn't need to give me a discount. And he calls the, the bartender over and he's like, sweetheart, no, you know this is wrong. And he hands her a $100 bill and tells her to keep the change. And I'm like, ah, okay. And he, he did give me the impression he's there a lot. So, you know, said he had drug his friend out. So by the end of the night, when my girlfriend was like, girl, he says like, he's super wealthy. He's got this huge house. He's got an art gallery, all this stuff. And so we go and we're sitting out front because we're waiting for my girlfriend to get off that works there and she's going to drive us home. Well, she decides to call him and tell him to come back so we can see if his money's where his mouth is. He really lives in this big house. And... We, they pick us up and we go over to his house, huge, huge house, gated community, overlooks the whole entire valley. But when we got there, it was kind of weird because it was like no cars in the garage. I didn't really think anything of it. Like, I don't know, maybe he just moved in, right? So my girlfriend's sitting over on the couch talking to her guy. 
and I'm sitting over by the bar in the kitchen talking to the guy that I was talking to. And we're chit-chatting and we get talking about things and come to find out, he's telling me how he went on an airplane to Arizona like that morning or the day before. I can't remember, but he went on a plane ride to Arizona and he didn't have a mask and he wasn't going to wear a mask and he refused to wear a mask. And they almost didn't let him on the plane. And so he wrapped his hoodie around his face. And so they let him on the plane and he posted it on his Facebook. And I'm like, oh my God, like I already know, like we're already friends on Facebook. I'm like, holy cow. I never actually met him because I'll be honest, if we have so many mutual friends, I might just automatically add you. So I guess, I don't know if I added him or he added me. But he was already my friend on Facebook, but I didn't know him. And I'm like, wait a second. I commented on your post. And so we were laughing about that. So we're chit-chatting, talking about all the things that we have in common and different things. And we got talking about guns. And I was just saying how I wish I would have bought the nine that I wanted because the nine that I have is not accurate i don't like it i really should have done more research on it i really wanted the sig sour and i'm like yeah i wanted the sig sour 226 and he's like we don't mention that gun in this house and i'm like what he goes yeah his ex-girlfriend shot herself with that gun in this house i'm like wait what <gasps> right oh my god and so i'm like You've got to be kidding me. Like, oh my God. So, um, we ended up saying like we were getting tired. And so the guys drove us back to my girlfriend's house and we said good night to the guys. And, and, uh, my girlfriend, she's like, yeah, I think I'm going to see that guy again. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I'll be seeing my guy again. And she's like, why not? I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's an alcoholic. I mean, he's cute and all, but yeah no and she's like okay so then she dates she goes on a date with this rich guy right and so they go over to his stables where the guy I was talking to made it sound like they were his stables and the 13 horses were his no no they're the rich guys stables and horses and my girlfriend called me and she's like girl girl do not, do not date that guy you were talking to. And I was like, I wasn't planning on it. And she goes, no, really don't date him. He just showed up at the Steebles, drunk off his ass with our bartender from the night, other night. And she's so drunk, she can't hardly walk. And I'm like, see, I called it. I called it. I knew he was an alcoholic. So needless to say, I never contacted that guy again. He is like, <laughs> but on a different note, my girlfriend actually went on a several dates with that other guy. And then I know this isn't my story to tell. It's kind of hers and I should like interview her and that'd be fun. But I'm just going to tell you her little thing. So she went camping with Mr. Rich Guy. And yeah. He decides to show his property that happens to be close to where they're camping and leaves her and her daughters in his truck, fully knowing she had an appointment to be to, fully knowing that her daughter had to go to the bathroom and he didn't do anything about it for over two hours. And she was really upset when he got back and... He says, well, I could have made a lot of money off this deal if I would have sold the property. Well, needless to say, she's not going to date that jerk anymore either. Because what kind of a jerk leaves a cute girl and her two kids in his truck for two hours while he tries to make a sell, fully knowing she has to be somewhere, fully knowing her child has to use the restroom? Ah. <sighs> I know there's good ones out there. I know. Still looking. 
<laughs> Anyways, if you liked this story, follow me, subscribe to my channel, um, and I will see you soon. <laughs>